Canelo Alvarez is close to making an $85 million deal for two fights with Eddie Hearn. His decision can cause clashes between him and other boxers that had been looking to fight him. Let's get into this and other boxing news that's been making rounds. Details of the deal. Alvarez may be close to announcing his next fight because the current face of boxing seems to be happy with the two-fight offer Eddie Hearn, the matchroom boxing chairman, has made him. Mike Coppinger, ESPN reporter, has reportedly leaked that the deal promises Canelo a whopping $85 million, and this amount may even rise after pay-per-view sales. Several reports have said that Alvarez made $40 million off of his last fight in November 2021, defeating Caleb Plant, which made him the first unified world super middleweight champion. Canelo's next opponent is Russian world light heavyweight champion Dmitry Bivol in May. If the Guadalajara native manages to succeed, he will go up against Kazakhstani Bonadi Golovkin in September. This is one of the most anticipated fights ever since the two of them clashed between 2017 and 2018 twice. To complete the trilogy, Canelo is going to have to jump up to 175 pounds like he did to fight Sergei Kovalev. He will also have to defeat the Russian before he can fight his longtime Kazakhstani rival. Given that he comes out on top against Dimitri, it will be smooth sailing for Canelo to settle his rivalry with Triple G once and for all. Both of these fights will be broadcast live on DAZN, the sports streaming giant who struck a five-year deal worth around $136 million with Hearn last summer. While the deal hasn't been agreed to or signed yet, it's on the verge of completion. Canelo has also received a $45 million offer from Al Heyman's PBC promotion to defend his undisputed super middleweight title against Jamal Charlo on May 7th. However, Canelo is reportedly set to snub Heyman and agree to terms with Hearn, meaning Bevel will be next up in May. The 31-year-old has won all 19 of his professional contests to date. Golovkin's only losses in his 43-fight record are his defeat and draw against Canelo. The fight's Alvarez's decision may force. It is common knowledge that several elite boxers were waiting for the opportunity to clash against him, but now that their hopes have been shattered, they'll have to steer their careers in another direction to have a chance at being chosen by Alvarez in the near future. According to the Talk Sport editor, Michael Benson, these are the fights that could take place due to Canelo's decision, which includes the best of the best at middleweight and super middleweight. First up is Jamal Charlo versus Kayla Plant. Specialized media pointed out that Canelo's trainer, Eddie Reynoso, as well as Golden Boy CEO Oscar De La Hoya, both pointed Charlo out as the best next opponent for Canelo. Sadly, the current WBC world middleweight champ is going to have to find another way to jump divisions. His best bet at an entry into the super middleweight category is Canelo's last opponent, Caleb Plant. The two have already been exchanging blows on social media. Next up is David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andrade. Two of Canelo's most acidic critics may be stepping into the ring to face each other real soon. Both Benavidez and Andrade are elite fighters who have achieved experience as world champions. Andrade is the reigning WBO world middleweight champion, whereas Benavidez is verging on confirming a clash against David Lemieux for the WBC interim super middleweight title. Alvarez has publicly been challenged by Benavidez as well as Andrade. However, both of them have been rudely rejected by both Canelo and his team. A showdown between both could be the cause for attracting Canelo's attention. Canelo and Triple G's ongoing feud. Reportedly, if Alvarez beats Bivol and defends his undisputed title against Golovkin, it will mark almost four years to the date he won against Triple G in their controversial rematch. The middleweight champ fought to split their 2017 draw, causing Judge Bird to be slammed for her decision in favor of Alvarez. Golovkin's coach, Abel Sanchez, claimed that Bird had filled out her scorecard before the match had even begun. Alvarez later signed a $365 million deal with DAZN after his 2018 win against Golovkin. He later sued the streaming service and longtime promoter Oscar De La Hoya. Khan talks about family trauma fueling his urge to win against Brooke. Amir Khan was saying that his mother's victory over cancer was what fired him up to beat Kel Brook on Saturday night. Falak Khan was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer given just three months to live at the beginning of last year. Khan kept a vigil by her side with his family and rejoiced when she was given the news that she is in the clear following surgery a few months ago. His mother is now in remission, and Khan says seeing her overcome the odds that were not in her favor to beat cancer has motivated him to settle his 20-year score with Brooke. He says it would have been immensely difficult for him to focus on training if his mother was still in the hospital. In the event that he wins this match, he is dedicating it to his mother. Khan and Brooke feud keeps growing. Their grudge match has taken the pair to new lows, with racial and homophobic slurs being thrown around in the name of trash talk. Khan stooped even lower by belittling Brooke, saying he isn't confident because he knows in his heart that Khan is better than him and that the win against Brooke will be his sweetest. Khan openly refused 
refused to face Brooke until now. He feels like he has picked the ideal moment to fight him in their 149-pound catchweight fight. Khan says the former IBF welterweight champ is shot. He was unimpressed by his display in losing in four rounds to Terrence Crawford in his last fight in November 2020 and feels like his batterings by Golovkin and Errol Spence Jr. have taken their toll on Brooke. Khan doesn't believe Brooke has the skill set to beat him anymore. Jacobs beaten by Ryder in bout for WBA World Super Middleweight title. Jacobs has once again been dealt with a massive blow in his hopes to fight for the title. Jacobs had control for most of the fight up until the midway point, which is when Ryder increased the pressure in front of his hometown fans. Jacobs has overcome osteosarcoma and came back to the ring to resume fighting in 2011. However, after this loss, it seems like the end of the line for the Miracle Man. Ryder's going to have to wait his turn to fight Alvarez because the Mexican fighter is being lined up to fight Bevel and Golovkin, according to his deal with Hearn. Charlo arrested in felony assault charges. On Friday, the middleweight champion was arrested in Texas on account of a felony charge of assaulting a family or household member on top of a previous conviction. According to records, the 31-year-old was arrested at 1.29 p.m. after the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office issued a warrant in Richmond, Texas. He was held on a $10,000 bail. Jermall's twin, Jermell Charlo, was arrested back in August with charged robbery after an alleged incident at a San Antonio bar. Walterweight unification fight between Spence and Ugas scheduled for April. Spence announced on social media that the two will be fighting to unify welterweight titles on April 16th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. This bout will be Spence's third near his hometown of DeSoto, where he has previously defeated Mikey Garcia and Danny Garcia in 2019 and 2020, respectively. In December, the deal was being announced, but the fight wasn't announced until two months later, as Premier Boxing Champions officials sought to lock in a date and venue. Spence, who will be putting his WBC and IBF titles on the line, is making his second comeback from serious injury. The 31-year-old was involved in a car accident in October 2019, which left him hospitalized for days and had him sidelined for months. The fight played with Manny Pacquiao was also derailed after he underwent surgery to repair a detached retina. Uga stepped in for Spence on 11 days' notice and beat Pacquiao. Now Ugas will defend his WBA title in the three-belt unification match. The 35-year-old Cuban and Spence have one common opponent, and that is Sean Porter. A fight between whoever is the winner of the spence Ugas bout against Crawford would lead to the crowding of an undisputed welterweight champion. There is one roadblock that remains, however. Imantas Stanionis has stepped aside from his mandatory title shot against Ugas to allow him to fight Spence. In place of that, Stanionis will now fight Radzab Butiev on the undercard. And that's all we have for you today, folks, but we'll be back with more interesting videos soon. To stay informed about the boxing industry and other sports content, keep watching our videos. Tell us what you think about the possibility of a Canelo versus Golovkin rematch, as well as Khan and Brooks' ongoing trash talk by sounding off in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving.